glasses. Guys, check out this classic. Absolutely stunning. 1975 Kawasaki. This is the Z1900. Listen to that exhaust note. Just fantastic. Before the EPA got in and fettered with them and made them sound like vacuum cleaners. It sounds absolutely amazing. Full frame off, nut and bolt restoration. One of the nicest looking ones we've ever had show up here at the museum. We actually have a, a, a 73 Z1 in the museum with 11 miles on it. Otherwise, we'd be keeping one or two of these. But this came from a collector who passed away, sadly, recently. And his uh, wife and his estate consigned them to us to resell. So um, there's a 73, 74, and 75. All three of the bikes are in absolutely stunning condition. All three of them look like they just came out of the box. Like it's a time capsule back to 1973 four or 75 in this case. This is the original factory paint coat on this bike. The paint job is an absolute 10. It's completely stunning. The chrome is stunning. The fit and finish on the restoration is stunning. This is what we call a no excuses bike. It looks like it just came out of the box, brand new. Everything's been done on this bike. It's absolutely beautiful. The uh, paint job on the tank, side covers and rear fin is beautiful. It has a deep dark metallic on there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. It's uh, showing 309 miles on the odometer. I, I can't confirm if the uh, what the actual mileage is on the bike because it was completely restored frame up in 2018, four years ago, at great expense, mind you. Um, lots of new parts on the bike starting at the front. New Dunlop a replica IRC made in Japan tire. Uh, the original uh, front forks have been polished beautifully. You can, if you zoom in on the hub and the brakes, you can see the fit and finish, the spokes. Everything about it is, is just reeks of quality. It's absolutely beautiful. The fork lowers, the aluminum has been polished. Uh, the, these are the original chrome fork tubes. On a scale of one to 10, there are nine. I found two little tiny, tiny pits. I think they're pits. Um, I thought there was a pit right here. <laughs> uh, there, might, there may be one pit right here. These are the original fork tubes, triple clamps. The headlight pocket looks like brand new. The headlight rim, the turn signals, the, the tack and speedo, the handlebars. The, the clutch and brake lever, um, it's got it's got new clutch cable on it. It looks like a uh, new master cylinder on there. Guys, I, I wish I had the exact facts of the restoration, but the gentleman who spent a fortune doing this passed away, and his wife didn't know. But I think the bike speaks for itself. You just don't, uh, this looks like a, a no corner cut full frame off restoration. Yeah, it was a nut and bolt. All, all the componentry, all the hardware looks either replated or brand new. Um, it, the, in the fact, the exhaust is brand new. Yeah, the exhaust is brand new through Z1, which you, you can What do those tell. pipes cost for a set of those today? Uh, what are they, like 1,500 shipped, Bill? Plus, yes. Yeah, Billy says plus. And a, a, paint, a paint job of this quality would run you two grand easy if you could find a shop that, that could lay down one this nice. Um, so you can see there's been a substantial amount of money. A, a frame up like this would, would take a typical shop somewhere in the 150 hour range to do with all the mechanical restoration. And at $100 an hour, it's easy to see, you could easily drop 15, 20,000 on a restoration of a bike to this quality. And I've always said, I mean, I own the New England Motorcycle Museum. I've seen literally, literally. Moment of silence, listen to this thing. Wow. I've seen literally thousands of beautiful custom bikes come and go, thousands. And uh, rarely do you rarely do you see one that, that that's this well done. Yeah, and it runs and rides like a brand new bike as well. The first thing that I noticed when I rode it, it's really tricky to get a good feel from the factory single piston front brake. This one feels like like a, a new. L Brembo. Listen to this thing. The, the the original super bike, the 73, 74, 75 Z1s, 76. They went to the KZ model, yeah. and uh, that's where the values start dropping on them, but. Uh, to find a Z1 in this shape, well, they just don't come up very often. Usually, only only through the uh, through the death of the, the owner. Why would you want to sell one this nice? You know, <laughs> and he had he had the whole all, all three are up for sale. The 73, 74, 75. If you want to buy 
the entire set, give us a call, 860-454-7024, if you have any questions about any of the bikes. They were restored to a very high level. The shop knew what they were doing. And of course, we had our hands on the bike. It's tuned just perfectly. It's absolutely stunning. Billy, what are your thoughts, bud? I love this thing. It's beautiful. Total linear power delivery, massive mid-range. It is a Kawasaki with a capital K, this one. It's beautiful. It's something else, isn't it? I've never ridden a Z1 before, ever, and this is fantastic. You can see why they almost put Harley and BSA at a, in a Triumph out of business, huh? Almost, really. This is very much like my ZRX 1100 from many years later. This is the model that they all follow. The DNA is the same. The DNA is the same, you can tell. Kawasaki Heavy Industries. Upright riding position. Comfortable Fort. riding position. Very comfortable. I could ride this like to the West Coast today. I, I would try. <laughs> you would easily volunteer for that, I would. that job, huh? <laughs> yes. I'd be hot on your trail with it with the 74. <laughs> right but on. if you're looking for if you're looking for a classic bike that's done, I mean let's face it, to buy one that needs restoration, a 70. Uh, we sold one with a seized motor and a huge hole in the exhaust. About three, four years ago at $6, auction, $600 it sold for $6,600 needed a frame off restoration. Because guys, restored, they're 20,000 plus. And where are you gonna find one? Where, where, who, where are you gonna find someone who can even do this kind of work? And, and do you have a year to wait for it? And how do you know it's gonna turn out this good? This one, this one, the proof's in the pudding. It's it's done, it's stunning. Um, Junior, can you show up the, the, the VIN number plaque on this right here? Pull into the driveway, Bill, yeah. These are the telltale signs you look for on a restoration to see if it. Look, look at the look at the the VIN plaque on that thing. It's just absolutely perfect. The frame paint is perfect. There's the, all the gaskets and seals on the motor. The motor's been completely rebuilt. Um, all new gaskets and seals everywhere on it. Um, the, the the chrome on the kicker is perfect. The looking going the, the entire engine looks like brand new. There's no broken fins. No and and the patina on the engine. Everything is 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 the right. Uh, patina, nothing's been painted over or, or uh, done improperly. The rubber boots for the intakes, both on the uh, engine side and the the, um, the airbox side, are in perfect condition. Uh, everything on the motor is perfect. Everything on uh, it, the little little zoom in on the bolts that hold the handlebars on. Those are the differences between a restoration and lipstick on a pig. There's uh, the, the, the the Billy just pointed out the yellow uh, marking on the triple clamp the fit and finish on the triple clamp the paint uh every nut and bolt the 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 um actual uh, switch housings if, if you if you look inside the tank it looks like it just came out of the box in 1975 i mean it's absolutely freaking perfect is a new seal I mean, on the gas gap is, is well. it possible this is, is 300 original miles on this bike uh, i mean it, it looks to me like it could be but i can't tell you because the guy's dead sorry uh, you have to be judge for yourself but look at the switch housings rest in peace he was a good customer of ours um the uh, the widow had reached out after he passed and asked to take, to take the he collection had purchased four of the bikes were restored by us here at, at kaplan cycles and the motorcycle museum um the fit and finish on this one is absolutely second to none the upholstery on the seat the grab bar, these are the things that, that drive you crazy when you're doing a restoration. The, the, the rear fender is in excellent condition. I, I believe this is the original rear fender, the, the taillights mint. Uh, zoom in on the, on the wheel, Kenny. Uh, if you have ever restored a bike, do you have any idea how much work it is to get a, a rear brake backing plate to look that good? And, and zoom in on the sticker right there where it says where the usable um, amount of brake is. That's a brand new rear brake pad, but zoom in on the sticker. That's more important. Where, where do you even find one of those stickers? Uh, if that's not the original, it's it's a replacement and it's in mint shape. The, look, check, check the um, adjustment on the, the adjustment bolts for the uh, rear axle. Everything's in beautiful condition um, and it's all the way out, meaning the chain is, and sprockets are brand new. The chrome on the rear wheel is impeccable. The spokes are impeccable. Um, the rear passenger pegs look to be brand new. They might be, I don't know. They, um, yeah, I believe they are brand new. I think it, I think this is a new chain guide. I'm not sure if the shocks are new. They look to be brand new. Again, I wish he was here to tell us everything about it, but I'm just show, telling you guys what I see. The center stand's been, it looks like it was powder coated. It's, it's, it's beautifully done, the kickstand. We're hunting for the contact for the shop that did this restoration to give you guys a more accurate spec. Yeah, if but, we can do an interview with them. It's got the helmet hook sticker. These are the things that are usually missed by amateur restorations. It has the helmet helmet hook sticker right there. Uh, the turn signals look like they just came out of the box. Um, I could go on and on. The bike speaks for itself. It's a full frame off restoration. We have a clear title with it. And we 
are now offering financing through Freedom Road on our classic. So call ahead, 860-454-7024. We can get you pre-approved for financing through Freedom Road. Clean title in hand. Um, so tell them what we did with the bike quickly before Billy rides it up the yeah, hill. Yeah, uh, well, it went through the detail shop and got what we call a rotisserie detail. Not that it needed much, but top to bottom, every surface on the bike has been uh, cleaned and polished. Um, it uh, went through a full 100 point inspection by our technicians. In addition to a complete 100 point inspection, the bike had been sitting, uh, it really hasn't been ridden much since it was restored in 2018. So we went right through it. The carburetors are completely disassembled and cleaned, we ins including separating the carbs and installing new carb crossover O-rings. Reassembled the carbs, tuned and synchronized. And the manic mechanic, Jeff Castine himself did these. He's probably one of the best Z1 tuners uh, in the country, if not the East Coast. Um, drained the fuel tank. Rinsed it out, you can see the fuel tank looks brand new on the inside. Put fresh 94 octane VP, small engine fuel, non-ethanol fuel. Uh, changed the oil, uh, uh, put a new battery in it, set the tire pressures, and did a full 100 point nut and bolt check over. Then it went down to the detail shop where it was steam cleaned, polished, and waxed to perfection. This thing's ready, ready to roll into a motorcycle show or back into the museum where it's going today. Um, the engine cases were polished, uh, the engine covers were polished, the exhaust, the wheels, the forks, all the chrome and aluminum was, was buffed and polished. Um, it's a museum piece that's a turnkey ready to ride. Classic, investment quality classic. If you're looking for a bike, you know, you drop 25 grand in a new Harley today, it's gonna be worth, or a new Kawasaki today, 20 grand in a new Cowie, what's it gonna be worth in 10 years? You know, five to 7,000 if you're lucky. This bike is going up in value every day. Uh, it'll beat the inflation and uh, you'll have an investment you can look at every day. And you know, sometimes when times are tough, and uh, you're down in the dumps, just walking out in your garage and looking at your bikes or, or your classic motorcycles uh, brings you up. It's like an antidepressant. And this thing's a time capsule, time machine, back to 1975. Billy, thanks for giving us a demo ride on it. And uh, give us a call if you have any questions, 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching, and God bless America. Right, Ken, uh, this bike uh, represents a period of time when Kawasaki really upped their game. They jumped up, uh, you know, tenfold over where they were with the triple Kawasaki uh, two-strokes. This bike here um, was tested at Daytona in 1972 with Yvonne Duhamel riding, one of their top pros. He did a 24-hour run at an average speed of 109 miles an hour. That was remarkable and way, way beyond anybody else. This bike was head and shoulders above. 24 hours wide up and open. Right on Daytona, fast as it can go. I mean, that that's a remarkable. Uh, um, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a it's a, a mark on Kawasaki for being able to handle that length of time at full tilt, and to go 109 mile an hour average for for it's 24 hours. A testament how to how robust this setup is. 100 percent. It's a testament. Yeah, in in a, in a thousand different ways. You know, in chassis handling, um, second to none just a remarkable motorcycle and that was how it got started in its life and it did many many things beyond that in years following so it really an incredible motorcycle and at, at Bass, Bass Master I would say would you just look at it would you just look at this thing look at the black and white stripes and the, the gold it's just look at it it's no, seriously this thing is absolutely stunning you know when a design looks this good 50 years after it was made right they hit the nail on the head yeah, right on the head man this thing is timeless just look at it look at the pictures come look at it yourself send a mechanic to look at it you can keep looking and uh, you're going to come up with the same conclusion as ours this thing's badass and it's beautiful thanks for watching and god bless america